Hey guys, and welcome to part two of uh, my little brother's uh, red little Zuzu build or repair. So we got the transmission back, and uh, there she is. We had to cover her up because we have no room. If you saw our back, so yeah. Well, apparently. The issue was the actual pump on the inside was all the bearing was chewed up. So they got that fixed at my brother's work. And we're gonna put this thing back where it belongs. Huh? Trying to start something. Trying to start something. You're trying to feud with your not really neighbors. That's it? What? You're trying to feud with your not necessarily neighbors because you don't necessarily live here. I live here just as much as you do, Dean. I just don't spend the majority of my time here. Oh, then you can pay. Are you excited to have this thing running today? We'll see. I'll be excited if it runs and the transmission does not leak. Well, I mean, I thought we fixed that. If I have to put this damn truck together again, and it's still leaking after the last, like, several times. My only faith is that it actually got gone through this time. However... It got gone? It, it got yes, gone through? Yes. So, ex so what was wrong with it exactly? Well, it seemed like it was leaking behind the torque converter, and usually when it's not sealed, it is usually the transmission pump that is behind the seal and you have to take the pump out and take it apart and replace the bushings in it and the gaskets and stop zooming in so close because that's just, yeah. And the bushing was shot. Looks like you've been chewing on it. Like I'd been chewing on it? Yeah. Yeah, like so I took it apart yeah. at night during my, my free time when yeah. I have to sleep and took the time to put my mouth on, on a bushing, bushing yep. on the inside of your transmission. Yep. That's exactly what I did. Right, I'm gonna turn this light off. The issue with this engine swap is that uh, the it sucks out to replace it. It's still good. How good that is. What? It sucks out to replace it because it's still really good. It's just all the RTVs on it now. So. Yeah. Well, don't interrupt me again. <laughs> uh, the dipstick. Where is it? The stock location for it, right there. It does not agree with the inside of that thing. So, what my little brother had to do, well we measured up a location where we could put a custom dipstick basically. Kind of like a patchwork job. And uh, find a good location, drill a hole in the oil pan, and then weld a dipstick shaft or whatever the hell tube onto it and then make a custom link dipstick that's accurate and that way we can know if there's oil in this thing which is kind of important you know what that rear one is still fine there it's really seated really well so i'm not gonna mess with that one actually what you got the front and rear of the oil pan because you got eight oil pan gasket is a three piece or has four pieces to it front back side to side Mm -hmm. Front and back look like this. You got one on the rear, one on the front. This one I had to replace because it fell off in the RTV. I can't reuse it. The other one is still hanging on actually in there really tightly. And it's not, and these are still new gaskets. So I'm just going to leave the rear one in and not change it because it's still seated in there pretty good. So it should, it's still going to seal up pretty good. I just put RTV on the oil pan. Oh, uh, okay. I just want to point out that your bowl cut looks so majestic right now. That's not really a bowl cut. Right now it is. Look at it. The sharp line across the forehead. Just so everyone is aware, we do not have a proper shop. We just have this in a backyard. We might have one soon. I'm working on it. Um... So yeah, we don't have one of those fancy engine stands that you can twirl upside down. Actually, we do. He's using it. So, uh, God knows how long that thing's been under there. But anyways, 
Who needs safety? So if you'll notice we are wearing different clothes because why is that Dean? Because people don't wear the same clothes every day. Because last time we put the oil pan on and found uh we we f***ed up. So when we welded it on the other pan we didn't take in, into account the oil pickup on the inside so when we put it all on there and put the uh, dipstick on it wouldn't go in because it hit the oil pickup so cussing ensued and we had to take it all apart and go back to square one but now we can get the show on the road works worst case scenario i think there's enough room worst case scenario we can just bend this mid up a little bit but i think we have enough room it'll be fine sweet but yeah, let's be scenario we're just gonna mess up. Chopped it off with oil. Check the other side. Sure. See if everything was tight. Everything seems to be, except Dean forgot to tighten the drain plug. It was two drops. Cause relax. you're a moron. It's okay, Dean. We still love you. So we cut the dipstick too short. So we have a spare so we can gauge how much we need to cut if we still need to. But before, I just want to get this thing in the truck before daylight burns out. there's like a non backyard ghetto way to do this but we're just using a wrench and a crowbar to turn the flywheel so we can put up the bolts on the to attach to the core converter wow it actually smells good too uh, smells very berry it smells, it smells like a berry of some sort Why would they it do smells that? like candy. Yeah, I know. Why would they do it that? It looks like candy. They're like trying to tip children to eat it. Do not eat Loctite, kids. As good as it's scented. I 
Are you tightening them down while you do it? Not all the way because I don't want it to be uneven when I'm putting the other bolts on. Else it'll... Yeah, but Dean. You could risk cross threading. Why are, why, risk. why are you so thorough, Dean? Why are you doing it the right way? Slap because it in there and break something. He's like, I don't care if you work fast. I only care that you do it right the first time. He said, speed does not impress him. It's if you do it right the first time. That oh. Oh, oh, this one is off-brand wrenches. You gave me an off-brand wrench changer. I don't approve of this. The only one that's working. Okay. All right, next. Ah! You good? What stabbed you this time? Well, like a knife. From the truck or... I don't think you're bleeding or cut, but you're just having all kinds of fun today. Yes. Okay, I think that should be good, especially with the stronger Loctite. If it wiggles out after that, I'm just gonna buy new bolts. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. next day I started a little late my brother's at church so I'm gonna try and finish this up before it gets back so all we have left to do now that the engine and trans is back in is reconnect the drive shaft put the starter back on let's try not to smash my thumb the third time shall we Put all the spark plug wires back together. Um, put together the cooling system. And whatever else we have to do. And So the dipstick that we added on is just in the way of the placement of the starter right there next to the flywheel and I'm just so done with this thing so we're gonna try and bend it and just get it out of the way and it's still full of oil right we'll take the is it? Down. Yeah, see what the cool. Alright, so that's the best we're going to get it uh, that It'll I work. feel comfortable with. Yeah, and I mean you can still get the starter off and on and get the wires on there. Okay, yeah. Test fire number two.
there she was. Hi, Dean. Yeah, that's nice. It's finally put back together. How do you feel? Feels kind of complete. Just say feels good, Dean. Yeah, sure. That. Just say it feels rewarding and. It's you doesn't. Know, it's not disappointing. Ful fulfilling and. Or it's a cream filling. <sighs> All right. Anyways, so truck is back together, as you can see. And it only took way longer than it needed to. That sounds like every other project I've ever worked on. So pretty much on schedule. So pretty much on schedule, you're right. So after the, when it got dark the other night and oil decided to shoot out of this thing like a geyser, we no, decided to call it. Um, it got back out here this morning and just tinkered with it, patched it all up and it didn't take that long. And now it's complete. But what I did, um, yeah, you told me. Just saying, Shut I told up. him. Just, just saying. What'd you tell me, Dean? Told you before I left that it's a mechanical oil gauge, so it has live oil feeding into it. So there's a line, and make sure you bolt it back up before you start the truck up, or a geyser comes out. Why don't you take a breath when you when you talk? Nope. I forgot to bolt in this line, which is the oil pressure line. <clears throat> so man, it shot up. I don't know, like a cannon. I thought I destroyed the engine or something. So yeah, it all works. And also, the dipstick issue that we were having, because I can show you now why we couldn't do it. Because the stop dipstick would come out of the oil pan down there and basically go into where the steering column and the tub for the tire and the stock, is now. And the stock holes right behind that down pipe, which you can't get around. Yeah. <laughs> So that was a no-go, so we had to relocate it, which we did. <laughs> and boy, let me tell you. The fitment on this, do you see that little yellow, little flash of yellow right there? That's our dipstick. It's, it is between two of the header pipes on the manifold and two of the plugs, and two of the spark plugs, like dead set between them. And we almost thought it wouldn't work because when we put the starter back on, it was rubbing against, so we actually had to bend it upward and pray that we didn't, uh, <laughs> and pray that we didn't like kink the pipe after we put the oil pan back on and the engine back together and the transmission back on the engine and the transmission and engine back into the truck. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to repeat all that just to fix that. So yeah, d deep down in there is our dipstick and it works. It's great, fantastic. That's what happens when you send it. So now this thing is streetable, but we don't want to like burn up the transmission just yet because we just fixed it. So when it gets a couple hundred miles on it, we'll start getting stupid with it. Empires. So sign them off, Dean. Get some parting words. Oh, showed the, there's a car in the background. So for future reference, if anyone wants to donate uh, 350 block with a passenger side located stock dipstick. Appreciate it. Yeah, they're not gonna do that. But uh, they will once you uh, get to work on this. Any parting words of wisdom, Dean? Look both ways before you cross the street. All right.